grew up in Port Arthur, Texas. I'm the oldest of three girls. I'm Peaches. The middle is Precious. The baby is Pinky. No one could ever forget our name. The way I can describe my leadership style is being relatable, never forgetting where you come from, sharing personal stories of what I actually did, evaluating the what ifs and the lessons learned, lead by example, which is just the way I was raised. I was born in Madras in India. A number of circumstances led me to where I ended up. When I started this whole journey to the U.S., I really had nothing to begin from other than education. Mahatma Gandhi, he held fast to the golden rule. That's something that has always been the benchmark of how you want to be and how you want to live. Thank you, sweetie. You are a born leader when you're an oldest. If I did it, my sisters felt like it was the right thing to do. Peaches has always been a leader in my eyes, and her sisters look up to her, too. <laughs> she always tell me, no matter if you're walking, crawling, or running, just keep moving and keep going towards my goals. She motivates me, and it motivates anybody else around her. I tell folks that I was afforded the opportunity to attend college. My major was in kinesiology. I wanted to be a basketball coach, but there was a different path that was laid out for me that I had no idea. I like to be an example for folks that you can do it. What does it mean to be a dynamic leader? At the end of the day, you need to know what you're trying to deliver and having an effective way of getting there. Being able to have conversations with people, resolving issues, being able to provide feedback, get results. All that, in my mind, is what comprises dynamic leadership. Forward, down to left toes. Yoga, it really, truly unites the mind and the body. I think that helps you to become a good leader where you're not flying off the handle or reacting to a situation, but just trying to resolve an issue and listening. You're able to understand the people better and respect them. Know your people, trust them, unleash them to their potential. It's one formula that works very well and has evolved into a leadership style. The gratifying part of a leader for me is to see the development of people. I'm Venki's son, and we put together the solar projects. He had the desire to do something great. I had the desire to do something great. And that's what made this project, I think, so successful, is that he's always going to help me make the best decision possible. That's what you see for the He gave my son ideas, but empowering him, not necessarily enabling him, it was really neat to watch. It's not exactly easy to work with your son. <laughs> to the surprise of many folks, it was on time and on budget. It was a great experience and one that I would behold for the rest of my life. People don't realize that they are leaders until they're pushed to say, hey, you know what, I can do more. I can be an example for not only your coworkers, but for your family. One thing that I would tell my son to set him up for success to become a leader is to always speak up. As a leader, my greatest responsibility would be the safety and well-being of the people that report to me and the people that are working on my site. I take a personal responsibility for making sure I'm out there bringing up different issues that I see and helping them understand why. And everyone has their own way of voicing their opinion. Just ask them, what questions do you all have? And then now they feel like they have some ownership in it. That's how you switch from being a leader to a dynamic leader because you start planting those seeds. And I always say there's a few peach shrubs popping up everywhere for me dropping my little seedlings there to impact the whole company, not just my 1792 unit. Get your water, cheers. I think it's a very, very exciting time to be a CP Chem employee. And it's actually even better time for a female. Women bring something different to the table. We don't always just bring that nurturing side of things to our organization, but we also bring a different side of thinking, and that's the diversity. If you can walk the talk, and if you can be a leader that exemplifies the values the company beholds, like mutual respect, safety, performance-driven, all those things matter. If you can adapt, transform yourself and your team, all that will be monumentally important as we move forward in the future.